Hello, my wonderful people. APC has replied, though, we resort to what the Senate president was doing to Tinubu and in trying to put their house together to make it look like they are a united front. See the response APC has given. Don't forget, we brought you up to speed that the Senate president, Ahmed Lawa, is working for Tinubu in the north. And uh, when Tinubu went there for rally, guess what? As he was saying, APC, people were shouting Tinubu. Uh, Mashan came to tell us that uh, we think that Ahmed Lawa, the Senate president, is for APC, but rather in the north, he wants a northerner to return. And so he's secretly working for Atiku against Tinubu in the north, whom they are supposed to be party members together. Now see the verdict of what APC have gone to say. It is happening now. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. 2023 elections. Senate President Ahmed Lawa working for Atiku, PDP, APC opens up. The All Progressive Congress Presidential Campaign Council has reacted to the allegations that Senate President Ahmed Lawa is working for the PDP presidential candidate Alaji Atiku Abubakar in the North. Bachi Machant Campaign Council has accused Ahmed Lawa supporters of making derogatory utterances against Tinubu and openly endorsing Atiku in the North. However, the spokesman of Tinubu Shetema Presidential Campaign Council, Festus Kiyamu, dismissed the allegation, saying Ahmed Lawa is a trusted party member. The All Progressive Congress Presidential Campaign Council has dismissed the allegations that the President of the Senate, Ahmed Lawa, was working for the presidential candidate of the People Democratic Party, Alaji Atiku Abubakar, in the 2023 general election. The campaign council on Thursday, December the 22nd, passed a vote of confidence on the Senate president saying he has never betrayed the ruling party, the Punch Report, and will not start it now. Gathering that, that Bache Merchant Campaign Council has accused Lawa supporters of making derogatory utterances against APC presidential candidate Ashiwajo Ahmed Bola Tinubu in the north. In the statement issued on Wednesday, December the 21st, the spokesperson of Merchant Campaign Council alleged that the anti Tinubu utterance were made by Lawa supporters at the rally head in Nego town based on a video evidence circulating on social media. He added that Lawa supporters openly endorse Atiku and the People Democratic Party in a video. Reacting on Thursday, December the 22nd, the spokesman says nothing of such that the Senate president is a trusted man and cannot do anything of that. Well, maybe speaking in faith, we don't know. Again, they have to make people, we're not saying he did it, or we're not saying Ahmed Lawa did it or not. Well, let me tell you one thing about politics. They have to make their house look very much as a united front. Whatever happened, they can never show weakness that the ranks are breaking. So even if Ahmed Lawa has done it, they have to tell you the public that Ahmed Lawa is standing with them. Have you seen Ahmed Lawa with Tinubu since the whole campaign began? Now again, disclaimer, we're not saying Ahmed Lawa did it or did not do it. You get me now. But the truth of the matter is, in politics, you have to make everyone see a united front, come rain, come shine. They have to be a united front. Nothing must change. It must, everything must look, you know, everything must look, you know, in a certain way you cannot there can be no you cannot show that uh, you know there's a disunity uh one, no 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 it must it must it must look it must appear as a united front okay so this is what is happening right now this is what is going on and then um, this guy has come to say i don't understand it what exactly is happening here what exactly is going on how come you are saying this you are saying that what exactly is going on you know, so these are some of the things happening. Yes, they have to see, they have to look 
and appear as a united front. So whatever you are hearing from Festus and all that, even if there is fire on the mountain, politicians have to appear, look and present themselves that their house are together. Let's look at it. Let's look at it together objectively. Okay, without taking sides, without just objectively. Do you think, do you think that uh, Ahmed Lawa, that you have not seen in one of the campaign or anything? Or, or do you, look at Yahaya Bello. Look at Yahaya Bello. When last did you see Yahaya Bello close to that tangent, to the air, to the extent that Tinubu's son, Sheyi Tinubu, had to go to him and say, Sir, oh, you are appointed as the youth council. Ah, far, what's going on? Tinubu's son, Sheyi, has done more youth, uh, you know, gathering, uh, mobilization for his father, more than Yahaya Bello. Yahaya Bello has not been seen. And what did the council say? The council said, well, mm, Yahaya Bello is, uh, is preparing. Uh, Yahaya Bello is doing underground work. When they talk about the uh, vice president, saying the vice president and Tinubu are in good faith, they have to make you feel, accept, and look at it. Now, again, let me tell you something. Whether they are united or you're not united, that should not really be your problem. The most important thing for Nigerians is not whether uh, Peter will be a, a, a spokesperson, uh, was sentenced to this, or Tinubu guy was this, or Atiku's guys were this, or Konkoso guys was this. The most important thing is you know who you want to vote for. You, Nigerians, you, you know who you want to vote for. Irrespective of the charismatic, of the whole, you know, hype and everything, prepare your heart, prepare your mind, make up your mind who you are voting for. Don't let anybody be the one to determine that for you. You must do it yourself. You must make up your mind. You must prepare your mind and you must accept the fact that, you know, it is, it is you that will be there. Whatever decision we make, we will have to live with it. You have to make up your mind. You have to see it. And get, don't let politician bamboozle you that A is doing well, A is doing well, B is doing well. Don't let politicians bamboozle you. Don't let politicians bamboozle you. You know, don't let any of them bamboozle you. Okay? Don't let that happen. So it is hard time that we, we make up our minds and we get off all this, uh, you know, politicians hype. Okay? And get into the real deal. Okay? It is what it is. If I made Lawa like he be true, he like he not be true. Who go win, go win. Okay? They should not try to impress us. Trust me, we're not, we not bothered. We're not really bothered, I must say to you. Nigerians, let's not allow them to you know, bother us. Yes? Anyway, my people, don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can have all our latest news. Remember, you have a voice. Remember, it's up to you and I to ensure that difference is made and we get to the desired destination. Nigeria today belongs to every single one of us. Every one of us must put in our best and ensure that at the end of the day, we are moving forward, we are getting better, and we are where we ought to be. God bless. Have a lovely and a fantastic day. From us, it's bye for now. Bye-bye.